Hi everyone, welcome to Tech Review. My name is John and today we're going to be taking a quick look at iOS 13 on the iPad and how to connect a PS4 controller to play some games. We're going to test it out and see how well it performs. But just a quick word of caution, iOS 13 or iPad OS is, is in beta, it's just been released or it's in beta 1 at the moment. It is very buggy. You will need the developer account if you want to actually install this on your iPad. So just a quick word of caution. Um, but we're going to go ahead. I've installed it already on the iPad. So let's jump straight in and connect. And I'll show you how to connect this PS4 controller to the iPad. And we'll test a few games out. So let's go. So the first thing you want to do is go into your Bluetooth settings. And then press the PS, uh, PS button and the share button. Okay. And as you can see, we've got DualShock 4 wireless controller. Go ahead and connect that up and you can see got a nice light on and it's shown connected it is that simple no hacks no workarounds in iOS 13 they built built-in support directly for it so that's that's brilliant so let's go ahead and test a couple of games so first one I'm going to test with you is Fortnite okay so there we go you can see we're at the start of the game And you can see we can, using the controllers, we can bring up some of the menu options. Let's go ahead and we'll just jump straight into a game. So there we are, into the game. And this works really, really well. Really responsive. Now, generally when I play Fortnite, I am keyboard and mouse. I mean, this will give you a little bit of an unfair advantage against other iOS or people playing on uh, their iPhone or tablet or something like that. Controls are really good. Yeah, well, I died pretty, pretty quick there. I mean, this is really just like playing on a console. It is that good. Oops. See, I suck at this game. I really do. Okay, let's take a look at Real Racer 3. Okay, again. Looks like this has actually got controller support directly in because it shows you the little uh, controllers up there quickly. Okay. Oop, reverse, want to go forward. And this makes it really, really easy to play. Come on, out of the way, out of the way.
Get on his inside here. You can see how easy it is to play. I mean, for me, this actually makes playing some of these games a lot more fun. See what position we can get into. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. So that is Real Racer 3. Let's just check out one more game. Again, this is another another first person shooter. Three weeks ago, the World Liberation yep, yep, yep. launched a cyber attack on several Asian networks. Do you think I've been living? Again, you can see we can jump straight in. All the controls seem to be working, working just as you would expect. There we go. There we Here we go. Contact. Come on, where's we gone? Take him out on your go. On me. Move into cover. Okay, doesn't look like too many of the controls work, so we've got fire, change weapon, crouch, reload, can't seem to find which one, doesn't look like you can zoom in, use your scope, but again, controls work really really well. And again, it looks like this game does have support for a control pad in there. Okay, so that is just a quick look at how to connect a PS4 controller to your iPad running iOS 13. Now there will be a public beta of iOS 13 uh, probably about a month or so time. Um, just just you know be careful if you're going to go over and try this and, you want to, and you've got a developer account just be a bit careful it is buggy. I have noticed my iPad occasionally restarting some of that to keep closing down so you know just a, just a word of caution. Hope you found this video useful. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.